come to Kid Time Story Time to see Storyteller, but no! Storyteller is not here! Oh no, instead, you have found Storyella DeVille! <laughs> More maniacal laughter! <laughs> and I am about to read to you the best Halloween book in the whole entire world! What? Where is my book? <laughs> Get back over here, which F is it? <laughs> oh, you rang? You know what you've done. Well, I have no idea. You know that I went out of my way to find the very best Halloween book in the whole entire world, and where is it? Oh, uh, what did it look like? Like a book? What is that word? Book! Book! Okay, it's square. Uh, okay, square. Oh, wait a minute. Does it have, like, pages inside? Yes. And and then there are, like, a bunch of blah, 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 blah words. Yes. Uh, I have no idea. Well, get back over here. What? Oh, I need you to return the best Halloween book in the whole entire world because look who's watching. Oh, oh, I see. That thing, yes, that thing, I mean, kid, is waiting for the best Halloween book in the whole entire world. So, come on, come on, bring it back. Uh, all right, fine. Uh, 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 magic spells. Uh, 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 uh. What? This is the worst Halloween book in the whole entire world. Oh, oh, is that what it says? Oh, didn't notice. Uh. <laughs> Okay, I'm really bummed out because I had worked so hard because I am Storyella DeVille and I was gonna bring you the best Halloween book and now, because of you know who, now I have the worst Halloween book in the whole entire world and I'm feeling kind of depressed about it. Yeah, 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 you got this, Storyteller, you got this. Oh, oh, Green Bear, you're looking quite dapper. Thanks, it's my Halloween dapper look. So, I know you can do this, okay? Because you are Storyella DeVille. I am Storyella DeVille. You can I can read anything, I can read anything, and you're gonna make it awesome, and we're gonna make it awesome. All right, thank you for the inspiration, little guy. You're welcome. All right, let's do this. You and me, we've got this. Let's do this. It's the worst, but maybe it'll be the best somehow. Mm. <laughs> we'll see. Okay, let's, okay, let's not lose courage. Let's do this. Okay, oh, this book, unfortunately, belongs to you and me. And kids, hi, family. Trick or treat, this book stinks. Ooh. Yeah, ghosty, you're a much better ghost than the rock is. This rock, always with a sort of a wah, wah attitude. I mean, he looked like a pretty decent ghost there, but well, that's gone. It stinks because it's the worst Halloween book in the whole entire world. And you're still here. Yep, we sure are. We know why, don't we? Is it because you are curious? Maybe. <coughs> like a cat. Ah, ah, I know, even Tutone is scared. That is a fierce looking black cat. Ah. Reason number one. There is a giant creepy cat in this book, which I'm sure we'll see again. Oh. Reason number two. There is no trick or treating in this book. Ah! Calm down, Green Bear. Maybe it'll get better. <laughs> now I have to pep talk, Green Bear. Okay. I don't really like trick or treating, but I love candy, 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 candy! Preferably chocolate. Maybe it'll get better. Maybe it'll get better. That's the spirit, Green Bear. Reason number three. Now I want some candy. Was that you? No? Hmm. I'm not in a room and there's no door. Okay, that's weird. Was that you again? No? Okay. Come in. Whoop! What? Oh, hello, little guy. Who are you? I'm Jerry Pumpkins. Reason number four, I'm talking to a pumpkin 
named Jerry. Oh, I like Jerry Pumpkins. He seems very nice. Ah, oh, that is true, Duck the Dinosaur. Jerry Pumpkins, why not? Hey, Jerry. Let's go trick-or-treating. No. Mm, I definitely like Jerry Pumpkins more than The Rock. Why not? Because I already told everyone there's no trick-or-treating in this book. Okay, that means there'll be more candy for me. Fine, I'm coming. Whoosh. But where are we going? Well, we're going that way, obviously. Let's go. <gasps> there. <gasps> do, do, do. Castle up on a hill on a dark night. Is it stormy? <gasps> it's a dark and stormy night. <gasps> Reason number five Jerry Pumpkins wants to go trick or treating at a super scary castle, and we don't even have costumes. But I want candy. Listen, listen, Rock, you got the wrong attitude. Just say that you're going as a rock, and nobody has to know that you're actually a rock. Just pretend you're wearing a costume. See? Problem solved. Oh, Green Bear, you are such an American, not an American. I know. I just want to give him a good pep talk, just like I did to you. You're welcome. Problem solved. Little confidence boost. Here we go. Up the mountains. Up to the super scary castle. <gasps> Trick or treat. Trick! The trick <laughs> to making my delicious stew is one rock and one pumpkin. <gasps> dun, dun, dun. Reason number six. I am now mad at Jerry Pumpkins. Poor Jerry Pumpkins didn't know that this was a trap and that just so happens that the witch, who, by the way, witch have to say, did you call me? D do you know? that there was going to be a trap set in this book by a witch? I had no idea. <laughs> <laughs> Suspicious. So, look at our heroes. They're, they're tied up to this wall in this dungeon, and the smoke is green, and it's bubbling, and it's probably, like, super-duper hot, so I wouldn't even touch that cauldron. And and now they're, they're probably going to become rock pumpkin soup, which apparently is a thing. What is that, Jerry? Beep, 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 beep. It's my cat whistle. Uh, there is no such thing as a cat whistle. <laughs> what is happening right now? Reason number seven. Giant creepy cat is back. But wait, Jerry Pumpkin. I can't get over that name, Jerry Pumpkin. Now all pumpkins in my life are going to be named Jerry. But do you notice that he's kind of laughing and smiling? Yeah, he looks happy to see Creepy Cat and he was a... Wait, he said it was a cat whistle. So he purposely called over this giant cat, which we thought was scary and frankly looks pretty scary. And, and spilled the whole cauldron, freaked out the witch, which is a big accomplishment, really. And, and what's happening? Let's just turn the page and find out because I feel like there's something about to happen here. What is going on? That is what I want to know. We're saved, but we still don't have any candy. Oh, look, they, they made it out on the back of the big scary cat, and they broke through the castle door completely. Wow, they're going to need a repairman in the morning. And and they're at least they've, they've gotten away with their lives. Um, but uh, there, there's something I need to tell you guys. Wait a minute. This cat? has the power of speech? Did you know that? <coughs> Tutone didn't know either. Okay, book. Constantly surprising us, right? I'm really a giant magic candy cat. <coughs> Happy Halloween. He's a giant magic candy cat. What? <coughs> it's news to Tutone also. <coughs> And news to Ghosty as well. Wait, why is everybody smiling? Well, apparently your special book that you suddenly dropped on my lap has a happy ending, Witch Oh, no! Uh, uh, I'm going to have to start 
reading these things. <laughs> Maybe you should start reading. Never mind. I didn't mean that. Ugh, I don't know what to do. Ugh, you really caught me here. Ugh, go, magic candy cat. You really ruined everything for me. You had to bring the candy, didn't you? Ugh. Sorry, Teller. We'll be back another day. But right now. <laughs> That's highly irregular. Oh, you don't think so? Mm, I, I see what you mean now. Okay, I'm going to do something about it. No, thank you. When you have an expert around you, you have to listen. Off-screen technical genius? At your service. Could you please just do whatever Ghosty says? How bold of you. Welcome to Kid Time Spooky Time. I am your host, your ghost host. <laughs> And that is Ghosty, your actual ghost. And we are going to show you how to spook a ghost. Because we're here to show you how to do things that are important in life. On right away, are you asking yourself, is this book haunted? <laughs> Probably. Each October 31st, as day turns into night, kids wear costumes, makeup, masks. It's really quite a sight. This fun day is Halloween. It happens once a year. A time when wizards, fairies, pirates, ghouls, and ghosts appear. Bear! Boo! Oh no, please tell me that someone I know, like maybe Green Bear or Doug the Dinosaur. No! Yes. Hmm. House by house, they ring or knock, and then shout trick or treat, hoping they'll fill up their bags with lots of sweets to eat. I chase that way, Mermaid Abuela Bear gets a night off from baking cookies. And if they get enough, Mermaid Abuela Bear, maybe you'll have two nights off. That will never happen. It's as if all sweet things here disappear. So gather with your friends and think of what you'll want to be. Superhero, dinosaur, perhaps a bumblebee. Mermaids, knights, or princesses. A pumpkin, or a cat, meow. Or maybe something spooky, like a monster, or a bat. Might I suggest going as a bad attorney at law, like me, Bagus Finch. He makes a compelling case. Do you hear strange noises? Are they coming from up there? Clangs and creaks and bangs and squeaks that give you quite a scare. What was that? Clangs and creaks and bangs and squeaks that give you quite a scare. Again, clangs and creaks and bangs and squeaks that give you quite a scare. Clangs and creaks and bangs and squeaks that give you quite a scare. Would you have the courage then to look around the house? Maybe it's a squeaky floorboard. Maybe it's a mouse. <laughs> or maybe it's a white rat. How about that? <laughs> What if we find something spooky? Then what will we do? We should figure out a way for us to spook it too. Ah, yes, a little preemptive scaring. So we shall not be scared, but the ones who do the scaring. So talk about your good ideas, then come up with a plan. You'll want to be as stealthy and as scary as you can. Let's go make some costumes now. We'll need a good disguise. A sneak attack will only work if it's a true surprise. And speaking of surprise, what is that? <laughs> is that a turnip? Yum, 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 yum. A yam? Yum, 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 yum. With three eyes and pointy teeth? That's a surprise. You'll get started right away to get your costume done by following instructions here, beginning with step one. Find an extra piece of fabric or a tattered sheet. Have a partner drape it from your head down to your feet. Good news! I found this tattered extra sheet! Oh, I'm pretty sure this looks like my shirt. Oh, uh, okay, it's mine now! See? 
how things just disappear around here? Do you want a costume that completely hides your head? Or perhaps you cut a hole and poke it through instead? Trace a circle all around the bottom of your neck. Cut around the circle. Is it big enough? Let's check. So let's see how that works. Okay, I'm halfway there. If you choose to cover up, then just make holes to see. Whatever you decide, you'll look as spooky as can be. So far, so good. Keep up with the instructions. Then trim around the bottom to remove the excess sheet. Make it ankle length so that you only show your feet and you don't trip on the sheet. Okay, here I go! Wait, Pink Bear, let me help you! No, I have help! No, no, wait! Oh, what's happening? Oh, that sounds frightening. Ta-da! Pink Bear, you're alive! Am I? Woo! So scary. Oh, this is scary too. Whoa! If we find a scary thing, we'll stomp our feet and roar. Holding hands, you tiptoe up and hide behind the door. But when it's time to jump out, you forget what you should do because you see a floating figure staring back at you. It's a tiny ghost! You shout, then turn to run away. Oh no, I didn't mean to scare you off. Please stay. I only heard you having fun and wished that we could meet. Maybe I could go along with you to trick or treat. Well, this is unexpected uh, because we had... um. <clears throat> us as ghosts and the kid became a ghost and this one is a pirate and this one is a vampire and that one is a adorable pumpkin and then suddenly poof we get that guy a real ghost but he seems sweet let's see what the trick-or-treaters think you see he isn't scary now in fact he's cute and kind sure you say we wouldn't want to leave someone behind the ghost replies oh thank you this is such a dream come true and hopefully you all can see that i am a lot like you except for the lack of legs or arms <laughs> or a heartbeat <laughs> but other than that <laughs> Now this ghostly group of friends is ready for some fun. And just like all the candy, there's enough for everyone. Hey kid, this Halloween is going to the dogs. Wait, are you saying that because there are dogs on the cover? Well, that would make sense. Or, or are you saying it because I can see that the dogs down here are making fun of the dogs up there? Is that why? Ding, ding, ding! You are correct, dog. And me too. I mean, and yes, technically Green Bear is also correct because everything is going to the dogs, which means it's not going well because Halloween are, well, you know what? Just take a look for yourself. I am looking. What do you see? on Halloweener's face. I see sadness. I see frustration. And what do you see on the other dogs' faces? <laughs> oh, I could tell that they are laughing at being mean. Bad dog, bad dog. And what do we suspect that Halloweener is gonna do about it? Cry? Fight? Or maybe there's another option. The way she said that makes me think there's another option. Yeah, me too. Let's see how Halloweener reacts. Will the night end with tricks or treats? Let's go. Halloweener, 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 Halloweener. There once was a dog named Oscar, who was half a dog tall and one and a half dogs long. That is a very accurate description. And that hot dog-like shape is exactly why they are nicknamed wiener dogs. But the official name of that dog breed is 
Dachshund. Dachshund! Dachshund! No, I mean, I know it looks like that, but it's Dachshund. I, I was sneezing. Oh, Gesundheit. You know, I just realized I may be a wiener pickle Dachshund! Bless you. Oh, because look, we're, we're like the same. I mean, while I see what you're getting at, I don't think you're actually related, Dill. I don't know. I think the similarity is pretty strong. Hmm. Dills and Dachshund. Look at that, I was about to change the page, but look! <sighs> Cats up there. Already, they too look like they're also up to no good. Because of his unusual shape and size, all the other dogs made fun of him. Wiener dog, wiener dog, they called him, and Oscar did not like it one bit. Because it's one thing to have a cute nickname, it's an altogether different thing to have it used to mock you. Bad dog, bad dog. Sad dog, sad dog. Oscar's mother was no help either. Oh, Mrs. Myers, which means our little guy is named Oscar Myers. Every morning, when the dogs walked off to obedience school, Oscar's mother stood out in the front yard, waving and calling out, Farewell, my little Vienna sausage! Farewell! Oh, ma! And the other dogs laughed and laughed and laughed. Bad dog! Bad cat! Is he crying yet? So far, no crying, no fighting. Okay. Most of the time, Oscar was upset by all of this teasing, but not today. Oh no, today was Halloween, and Oscar was thinking about other things. Look, he's got Halloween on his mind. All day long at obedience school, Oscar daydreamed about Halloween night, trick or treats, and scary costumes. Maybe he would go as a pumpkin. Maybe he would go as a ghost under the light of the moon. Meanwhile, at the front of the class, Mr. Gruff and McGruff here is writing lines on the classroom board. I will not sniff my neighbor. I will not sniff my neighbor. Somebody sniffed his neighbor. And oh, those cats just stalking these dogs. Meanwhile, the teacher, wearing a very sharp pumpkin scarf, is reading from a classic canine book. Dogs who hate fleas and the fleas who love them. Classic. When Oscar got home, he dashed upstairs to start working on his scary Halloween costume. Oh, look at the family portrait in threes. Adorable. But when he got to his room, a surprise was waiting for him. Happy Halloween, my little sausage link, said Oscar's mother. I've made you a costume to wear for trick-or-treats. Oh, she made him a costume. Oh, that is so much work. That is so amazing that she did that for him. And there's the box, and she decorated it to Oscar, love mom, happy Halloween. And Oscar's taking that first peek inside when Oscar saw the costume with his own eyes. He nearly fainted from happiness or from horror. Let's find out. <gasps> it was a giant hot dog bun, complete with <laughs> mustard. And guess who was supposed to fit in the middle? Dill! Oscar. Oscar, does you? Bless you. Thanks. Well, Oscar did not want to hurt his mother's feelings. After all, we know how much work she had to put into creating this bun, and the mustard must have been challenging. So he decided to wear the silly costume and is giving her a kiss and she's all like all sentimental about it but even though he's kissing her even though he's smiling for the camera look at his eyes they're sad beware of the smile that hides sad eyes that night, all the dogs on the block gathered to show off their costumes and everyone was looking quite scary. I am Count Von Hound. I am Harry Wizard. I am a Mummy Mutt. I'm a dog catcher. It's ironic because I'm a dog. Then Oscar showed up looking 
quite frank. Frank is another name for hot dog, and it's another name for honesty. Honestly, I think he's about to get roasted. Oh. When the dog saw Oscar in his silly costume, they howled with laughter. <laughs> oh, oh, this is hilarious. <laughs> Look at Oscar, they cried. He really is a wiener dog. <laughs> Poor Oscar was so embarrassed, even though we only see his eyes. Oh, they say everything we need to know about his feelings right now. Wiener dog, wiener dog, laughed the other dogs as they ran off to go trick-or-treating. Oscar tried to keep up with the dogs, but his silly costume kept slowing him down. All night long, the other dogs hounded every treat they could get their paws on. <laughs> so by the time Oscar got to each house, there were no treats left. Sorry, buddy, my treats were ravaged by savages. <laughs> Soon, trick-or-treating was over, and the dogs walked home past a spooky graveyard that just happened to be there suddenly on the way home. Suddenly, a horrible hissing sound filled the air. The dogs stopped, woo, dead in their tracks, but first they had to jump, woo, from fright. Then, out of the graveyard, rose a ghastly monster, and the dogs screamed for their lives. Ah! They dropped their treats and jumped into a nearby pond, one after the other. But the monster didn't stop. It moved closer. Please don't eat us, cried the dogs. Rawr. But the monster yowled like this, yowl, and hissed like this, hiss. Boo hoo, sobbed the dogs. Boo hoo. The monster jumped up and down. Rawr. And the dogs were shrieking, somebody save us, save us. By the light of the most gigantic moon you have ever seen. Just then, somebody showed up. Ba -ba -da -ba -ba -ba. Who was it? Oh, yeah, you know who. It was Oscar. And because Oscar was so short, he saw something that the other dogs had not seen from their vantage point. That's no monster, cried Oscar. And with a loud bark, Oscar waddled to the rescue. Oscar chomped and tugged with all his might. Did you see what Oscar could see from way down there? Mm-hmm. Do you see that? A tail, and I see paws, and, and you see by the light of the most gigantic moon ever, can you see the outline of the perpetrators? Aha! Rip! And there, standing in the moonlight of the most gigantic moon ever, were a couple of ornery cats. Meow! Meow! That's right, boys. The jig is up. Help! cried the cats. We're being attacked by a giant frankfurter. Meow! And they ran off screaming through the graveyard with mouths as big as the biggest moon you've ever seen. The dogs in the pond had seen the whole thing. That's right. And now it was their turn to be embarrassed. Oh, we've been chased into a pond by a couple of cats, they moaned. And if you are a dog, you know how embarrassing that is. But Oscar, <laughs> Oscar, did he make fun of them? It's an option. Did he just leave them there? Also an option. But he did not. Oscar was a true friend. He leaped into the water and swam out 
to the dogs. Oscar's silly costume, silly costume, made a wonderful life raft and the dogs climbed up. So the costume that they were mocking was suddenly their life raft, their rescue boat. Hmm. All aboard, Oscar called, and he dog paddled it back to shore. Woo, 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 woo. I know, hero. When they got back to dry land, all the dogs shared their Halloween treats with Oscar because he earned it. And because Oscar had been so brave, the dogs changed his nickname from Wiener Dog to Hero Sandwich. And from that night on, nobody ever made fun of Oscar again. Because they realized that what made Oscar different is what made him special. That's what made him the big hero. And notice he never cried. No, not a single time. And he didn't fight. No, I guess he took the, the high road. That he did. He was, frankly, his best self. So then everyone had a happy Halloween! Happy Halloween! Happy Halloween! Gesundheit! And happy Halloween! <laughs> <laughs>